Hey YouTube, Nandor690 here and I'm coming at you with another video for the Apple TV 4 and I think this is going to be a pretty exciting video for you guys because I'm going to be showing you how to install Kodi on your Apple TV 4 using Xcode and this app called iOS App Signer. Now this should be exciting for you guys because this is 100% Kodi. Unlike Mr. MC and I'm not hating on that app because that app does exactly what it was designed to do. But in order for it to get into the App Store, they had to strip a lot of things out of it that we like to have using uh, Kodi or whatever version of XBMC we're using. So with this version of Kodi that I'm going to show you how to install, there's been nothing stripped out of it. So your add-ons are, uh, you know, you'll be able to use add-ons, you're going to be able to have skins and uh, everything else that you like to have with Kodi. But having said that, um, I want you guys to know that uh, the guy that built this Memphis is calling it an unofficial pre-pre-pre-alpha release of Kodi for tvOS. Meaning that there is going to be problems with it right now. There is going to be bugs. Not all of your add-ons are going to work at the moment. Or they will work if you know how to go in and get them to work. But right out of the box, a lot of them aren't going to work at the moment. But... As they uh, fix this build and get everything uh, ported over to work with tvOS, I believe that we're going to see more and more add-ons and everything else working with this version of tvOS. So now having said that, we're going to need a few things in order to install this. And the first is going to be if your Apple TV is running tvOS 9.0, you're going to be able to use Xcode 7.1 or newer. If your Apple TV 4 is running tvOS 9.1, you're going to need to at least have Xcode 7.2, which I believe at this moment is the latest build of Xcode. You're also going to need two other things, and I'll have links in the description for them. And the first one is going to be iOS App Signer. So you'll go to the link and then just go right here and download uh, B14, which is probably stands for Beta 14. And then I'll have another link in the description taking you right to the uh, forum to where you can download this tvOS.dev file. Okay, and while that's doing that, we'll go ahead and close this out, and we'll open up Xcode. And what you want to do as soon as you get into Xcode is go to create a new Xcode project. We'll go down here to tvOS and click on application, and then click on single view application, and then click next. We'll call this Cody, and then the organization name can be whatever you want and then the org organization identifier which is going to be your bundle identifier can be whatever you want so let's make this one we'll make well I'll make mine that you can make yours whatever you want just com dot whatever and then it will change it to com dot whatever you put dot Cody and then under language it'll probably be defaulted to object objective C so we're going to want to change that to Swift. We'll click Next. And then it's going to want to create this to your desktop. So I'll just do that just to make it easy. And once Xcode opens up to this page, you're probably going to get a few errors, and that's OK. So we'll just click OK on this. And the first thing you're going to need to make sure is that you're in the General tab. And then click on this box over here to open up the side menu. And then make sure you're on Cody. And then go down here to Team and then pick the uh, Apple ID that you're signed in with. If for some reason you don't have an Apple ID, you can go here to uh, Add Account and then go to Create Apple ID, go through those steps, and then come back here and sign in. Or if you're just not signed in, you can go to Add Account, come here, and then sign in with your Apple ID. Uh, remember, guys, these are the free Apple ID accounts. Uh, I, I don't pay for a $99 developer account, so this is my free Apple account also. So once you do that, um, we'll uh, go ahead and click on Fix. And we can see that it fixed the uh, provisioning profile. So we'll leave this here because we're going to want to make sure that we pick this one in a later step. So now the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, open up iOS App Signer. And if for some reason you get an error saying that it can't be opened, what you'll do is go to System Preferences security and privacy and then unlock this and then go down here to where it says allow apps downloaded from it'll probably be on Mac App Store only uh, change it to anywhere 
and then click anywhere again, lock it, and then just close it out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the input file, and we're going to browse for that, and that's going to be the Kodi tvos.dev file that we just downloaded. Under signing certificate, we're going to pick uh, the Apple ID that we're signed into, and under provisioning profile, we're going to pick this one right here from the drop-down menu. So we will pick this one right here, and then we'll just click start, and then we'll save it to the desktop. While that's doing that, you can come back here to Xcode, and if you don't already have it, you need to plug your Apple TV into a wall outlet, and then you need to uh, plug it into a USB Type-C connector, and then plug it into your computer. Once your computer recognizes your Apple TV and that it's plugged in, you'll go up here to the scheme and click Cody, and then go here to the arrow and make sure that it's on your uh, living room Apple TV. And then in just a few seconds, this should be ready to go. There we go. We have the uh, IPA file now. So the next thing that we'll do is we'll go up here to the menu bar and go to Window, and we'll go to Devices. And we'll make sure that we're clicking on our Apple TV. And I have one installed already, so let me delete this really quick. This one right here, I don't know why, it won't delete. And all it is when I plug in my Apple TV is it's just a null file on the home screen of my Apple TV and it won't delete for anything. So I don't know what's up with that. But what you're going to do is you're going to hit the plus sign. You'll go here to the IPA that we just created and click open. And then once you click open, it's going to start downloading and installing everything to your Apple TV. And this is going to take a few minutes to do, not, not very long at all. And I'll leave the, uh, the video running because I like to show you guys that it's installing without cutting away or cutting out any of the time that it took to install. Just so you can see that it installed completely without a problem for me. So, I mean, it just... For me, it, it makes me think that people are more comfortable with what I'm doing if they can see it happening without me cutting away. So that's why I like to do this. And it should be just about done here. And there we go. You can see right here with the provisioning profile that I just used that we have installed Kodi on our Apple TV. So now all you need to do is plug in your Apple TV to the TV that you have and then uh, start using Kodi. And uh, I hope that you guys like this video. It's very easy to do. There isn't no, uh, there isn't nothing that we need to do with Terminal. Someone made an iOS app site, excuse me. Someone made an iOS app signer app for us to make this really easy. And I hope that you guys are as excited about this as I am, being that this is a 100% version of Kodi. Um, not being stripped down at all and you know I can't wait to see what add-ons work right now or what skins I can use so if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos about the Apple TV 4 and I have a few different things uh, getting ready to come out go ahead and subscribe to me and as always if you guys have any problems uh, leave me a uh, comment down in the comment section or you can message me directly on YouTube either way is fine with me and I will be more than happy to uh, help you through any problems that you're having. So uh, again, thanks guys, and uh, I'll check you later.